allow me to make a personal confession. It took a staggering two months to decide what to wear to this talk today. Now, as you laugh, bear in mind that I spend my days helping clients decide what to wear for significant events just like this one, all in a bid to portray the right image. Trust me, the irony isn't lost on me. I spent so much time actually going back and forth about this outfit that I turned to artificial intelligence. Yes, I asked AI for fashion advice. You want to know what it said? ChatGPT actually recommended a well-fitted suit or blazer, saying it would exude confidence. Well, I'm sorry, ChatGPT, you clearly haven't seen my closet. Not a suit or blazer in sight. As advanced as AI has become, it remains blissfully unaware of things like our personal style and the essence of our brands. My name is Micaiah Thurmond, and I've had a decade-long career as a communicator. In both Raleigh and Chattanooga, I worked as a news anchor and reporter, waking up viewers as early as, get this, 4.30 a.m. every single morning. Well, last year, I left the newsroom for the world of public relations, taking up the mantle as a PR strategist. Simply put, it's my job to take complex business strategies and turn them into relatable messages that resonate with the public. In this last year, one thing has become certain. AI is redefining the PR landscape. It's increasing both our reach and precision. But as we are digging deeper into the AI era, the challenge before us is to optimize our capabilities without compromising what I call the authenticity of the human touch. Now give me a hand raise real quick. Who here has never used something like ChatGPT before? See, and I do this because a lot of people don't realize how many people haven't used it. And for those who haven't used it, simply put, it's a virtual brain. It can answer any question that you ask because it's read more than any human being. If you're like me, it feels like AI popped up overnight. It's even a buzzword now. But the reality is it's been around for quite some time. It's in our homes with Alexa, in our phones with Siri. I felt like I had to whisper that. Um, and it's in our cars with GPS, as well as the world of public relations. Take a tool like Jasper, for instance. I can take a couple of bullet points and put it in the tool called Jasper, and it will draft an entire press release in just a few moments. Then there's another tool. It's called PressPal AI. It can read a press release and then tell me the journalists most likely to cover the news I'm about to put out based on articles they have already written. It really is remarkable the technology that is now at our fingertips. But here is where we should pause and ponder. With AI enhancing business strategies across hundreds of industries just like mine, is it possible that robots could take our jobs? Well, that's a million dollar question. And when a mammoth institution like Goldman Sachs weighs in, well, we should all be paying attention. Goldman Sachs put out a recent report estimating that about 300 million jobs will be lost to automation. 300 million? That is one fifth of our worldwide workforce. So let's look at this a different way. I'll divide the room into five groups. We'll take section one, Section two, three will be both sides down the middle, four and then five on the end. I want us to look around and imagine our entire group losing our jobs. It's a scary thought and it bodes the question, which industries are most at risk of being replaced? Well, Forbes put out a report saying that the industries most at risk are those that are tied to information processing. So if you're in manufacturing or agriculture, you're safe. But if you're in legal services, the media, or marketing, you're most at risk because you depend on writing skills that's most similar to what artificial intelligence can do effortlessly. If you're not paying attention, that's my industry. So what am I going to do about it? I mean, what are we all going to do about it? Well, we certainly have reached a competitive landscape, but perhaps we can take a note from scientist Charles Darwin who made an astonishing discovery when studying animals in the Galapagos Islands. He found it wasn't the biggest, the fastest, or even the smartest predators that survived. No, it was survival of the fittest or the group most adaptable to change. In this difficult business time, it won't be those of us that graduated from the most prestigious universities, not even the employees that work the longest hours that keep their jobs. No, it will be the group that's able to take AI and enhance what we do 
every single day to defeat that prediction from Goldman Sachs that 300 million jobs will be lost to automation, we have to see AI as a partner and not a rival. Now look, with any partnership comes difficulties and artificial intelligence is no different. Some we can see from a mile away. We'll call those obvious dangers. Others, not so much. I'll actually give you an example of an obvious danger. For instance, ChatGPT, for example, has no new information in the last two years. It stops in 2021. It's like your friend stuck in the high school glory days rocking that letter jacket. Yeah. Recently, I actually asked ChatGPT how old Tony Bennett is. It told me he's 96 and still belting out tunes. As a public relations professional, this is dangerous. I need facts to do my job. A second issue that's a little more murky is data privacy. We are giving artificial intelligence so much of our information at all times. The question is, is it being used ethically? That's something AI companies still have to sort out. But if they mess that up, it could damage both reputation and trust. Another and third challenge I want to highlight is the potential for bias in AI algorithms. And this is something I have seen personally. A couple of years ago, I went online to use an AI art tool and I gave it a simple prompt. Tell me and show me images of a news anchor. That was all I asked it. This AI art tool then developed about two dozen images of a white man sitting at an anchor desk. Now, if I were to use those images in a media campaign, they may not resonate with the audience that is diverse that I hope to resonate with. These are things that we all have to think about because we are in uncharted territory. But the big thing we have to remember is that in using AI responsibly, we have to think differently. So what are some takeaways we can use to do that? Well, first, we have to see AI as a power tool because it's capable of heavy lifting. It's able to increase our reach and precision. But you know what its true magic is? Is that it frees up our time to do what we do best, thinking creatively. Let's go back to the industries we discussed that were most at risk to being replaced by automation. It was legal services, the media, and marketing. The common denominator between those industries was that they depend on writing skills most similar to what artificial intelligence can do effortlessly. But if we look at this a different way, these aren't just jobs, they're roles where ideas are created and shared. We can't afford to have AI totally take over. If there's anything that we've learned from the 2023 Hollywood writer strike is that we need our writers, the creative human ones, to tell our stories. The second and final thing I want us to take away is that AI can't replace our authenticity, which is why I didn't take ChatGPT's fashion advice for today's TED by Raleigh talk. You see, artificial intelligence would have no way of knowing that I wanted to wear this necklace with my late grandmother's birthstone, especially for today. It would have no way of knowing that because this necklace is tied to a memory and an emotion far too complex for some robot to understand. My authenticity isn't rooted in servers and algorithms. It's within me. AI can't replace those of us who know how to use it while also maintaining the warmth of the human touch. It's up to us as professionals to hold the balance. That's why I'm happy to embrace AI, to use it to reach more people and tell more stories. But we should always keep it real and stay authentic because our most powerful tool isn't AI. It's us and our humanity. Thank you.